Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to achieve an 80s video look using Premiere Pro, with no third party plugins required. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need is a clip of your scene to drag into your timeline. Great, now that you're here, go to the editing menu and type color emboss in the effects and presets. Now click and drag color emboss on top of your desired clip. Go to the effect controls panel and find color emboss and change the contrast value to 250. You should now notice your clip looking sharper than it was originally. This will be a key part towards adding other effects later. To make a true 80s effect, we're going to need to add an RGB offset. To do that, search color balance and effects and add it to your clip. Once you're done with that, go to the effect controls panel and change the blend mode to linear dodge or add. This will allow the three channels of RGB to work. Now duplicate your clip two times by holding Option and dragging up. Go back to your effects panel and change the red and green value to zero, leaving blue at 100. Now go to your second clip and change the value of red and blue to zero, while keeping green at 100. And for the last clip, all you have to do is change the value of green and blue to zero, while keeping red at 100. Alright, now that we finished the RGB segment, it's now time to add an adjustment layer by right clicking in Project Assembly. I'm currently just using the normal adjustment layer preset for the width and height, but you can change it to wherever fits your needs. Since we've added it into our timeline, the adjustment layer will be used to add noise grain and wave distortion in your clip. To do this, simply type in noise and effects and add it to your clip. Once you're done with that, go to effect controls and change the amount of noise to 20. The second thing we'll need to add is a wave displacement, which will help pull off the 80s VHS effect. Go to wave warp and effect controls and change the wave type to square, wave height to 10, wave width to 1000, and wave speed to negative 0.1. Oh, and also remember to pin all the edges. On clip 1, change the position to 955. On clip 2, change the position to 960. And finally, change the position for clip 3 to 969. We're now almost done pulling off the 80s VHS look. All we need to do now is color grade. So go to the color grading window and change the temperature down to a bluish color. Since I was originally working with neutral looking footage, you may want to play around with the highlights in the black and white. And this ends our tutorial. Thanks for watching guys and remember to like and subscribe for more content.